Hey y'all, my name is Morgan Kirk and I'm super excited to share a new favorite recipe with you. This is a zucchini bread French toast with a basil maple syrup. This recipe won't take you more than about 20 minutes to make, which is why it is a favorite here. So you'll start off by pouring your maple syrup into a pan on the stove and add in that deliciously fragrant basil from Old Home Place Farm. You'll want to stir it around enough to make sure it's covered and let it come up to a nice simmer on medium heat. You can see those little bubbles forming here. And once you see those, you can take it off the heat and just let the basil leaves steep in the maple syrup for five to six minutes and then you can strain them out. So while it's steeping, you're gonna work on the mixture for the French toast. You'll add three eggs from the Happy Hens Homestead out of Boonville if you've got them. I was lucky enough to pick some up at the farmer's market Thursday when I got my fresh stop share. And to that, you're gonna add about a fourth cup of milk, and then you'll add in about an eighth cup of sugar, followed by some vanilla. And I'll tell you with vanilla, you could just kind of measure with your heart um, in something like this. Though I wouldn't add too awfully much since it a little bit does go kind of a long way. Um, so even slicing the zucchini bread thickly, I ended up with probably six or seven slices here. And since they're a bit denser than your regular loaf of bread, I do suggest letting them sit in the egg mixture for about 20 to 30 seconds on each side. Then you'll add your pan after you've added in those two tablespoons of butter you saw next to the eggs and once it starts to foam on that medium heat. You want to make sure that they have really good color on them and that the egg has cooked all the way through. You almost want like a caramelized looking color on it. So I would suggest around two or three minutes per side. So once you've got those cooked, you can start to plate them up. Uh, we did two slices each here, and you'll just want to add on that basil maple syrup over your French toast. And y'all, I mean, this may be the only way I use maple syrup again. It is so, so good. As you can tell from my reaction here, I hope y'all enjoy this as much as me.